What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where I get text messages that ruin my intro. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, we have part one of a two-part Slipknot mask unboxing. But first, a word from our sponsor, Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket. And it definitely doesn't get bent out of shape like the type of people that put their wallets in their front pocket when I make a joke about people that put their wallets in their front pocket. Congratulations. You played yourself. Most people are still using wallets that were designed in the 90s. I mean, think about it. Why have we moved from large flip phones to small smartphones, but we still carry around the same big stupid wallets? Let me quickly tell you about the features of the Ridge Wallet. It holds up to 12 cards plus cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber. This durable material comes with a lifetime guarantee. But good luck! The Ridge also has over 40,000 five-star reviews, and that's at least 39,000 five-star reviews. And the Ridge is so confident that they're going to give you guys a 45-day trial run. Test drive this bad boy out for 45 days, and if you don't like it, send it back. You'll get your money back. Ridge will sell the wallet to someone smarter than you. It's a win-win. And it's Christmas time, so make somebody get you this wallet for Christmas. This isn't something that will go unused. You're going to use this every single day. Maybe even gift yourself. Fuck the family. Now, the Ridge has been kind enough to sponsor this video and give you guys a 10% discount with my code. Just go to ridge.com masks and use the code masks to redeem your 10% discount with free shipping and returns. Trust me, you're going to be thankful that you did. Huge shout out to Ridge for always coming through with the support. We appreciate it over here at the House of Masks, and I hope that you guys do too. Now let's get on into this unboxing. We've got a package here from Michael Dufresne, the man, the myth, the legend. Long time sender. I'm sure that that name sounds really familiar to you guys because I've unboxed probably dozens of his masks on this channel now. And what we've got here is, you probably guessed it, two more James Root Jester masks. So we're going to go ahead and dive on in and just pull whatever one comes out first first, and then we'll do the next one tomorrow. So right here on the right side closest to me, I guess that would be the left. It's forward and backwards. I don't think there's a left and right, or a right or wrong, or an in or out. Whatever. We've got a mask in this bag. Not sure which one. These are both Dynamo masks, but they're two different versions. So I'll go ahead and take this off, let you guys see it first, and then we will go from there. All right, which one is it? Oh yeah, it's the one I was the most excited for. This is the rotting purple Dynamo variant. Well, now I'm almost sad that we opened this one first because I was the most excited for this one. But maybe that other one will blow me away and I'll be even happier that we waited. Regardless, I've been pretty stoked about this mask. Definitely going to stand out in the collection. Any of the ones that James got hair dye on just always seems to pop amongst the mostly white and somewhat tan masks on those shelves. So this one's super rad. You don't see too many of the rotting purple Dynamo variants out there. You typically just see like the clean Dynamo, even though it was never really a clean mask. So it's obviously very cool to see a version with some color on it. And the cool thing about these two is that there's definitely some different details between the two. So once we get them side by side tomorrow, I'll be able to point those out. I know that there was some difference in some stitching, and I do believe that some of the strap work had been redone. And it's kind of crazy to think about how many masks James used throughout the self titled album and that they had so many alterations between them, I guarantee these things were getting updated almost nightly. I'd recently been discussing with some admins of the Slipknot Masks and Jumpsuits group and we saw some footage of a dude who must have changed Slipknot's masks on the regular. Anytime they would come back with some sort of complaint, he would alter them backstage and then you'd see a slightly different version the next night. So that is pretty cool, something I definitely want to dive into and investigate a little bit more and maybe I can bring you guys some content based around who that was and what they were doing. But for right now, we're just going to take a look at this awesome jester conversion courtesy of Mr. Dufresne. Super, super detailed, no overkill, definitely authentic looking, and I am super, super stoked with the result. I can't wait to get this on a head so I can really take this all in, just like your mom. So I am going to go grab a foam head, throw this on there, and take a nice look at it myself. Would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, got this bish on a foam head, and it's crazy how much of a life these things take on once they have a little bit of structure behind them and they hold their shape. Absolutely unreal, super, super stoked about it. 
I couldn't be happier with it. And I definitely cannot wait to get this on the shelf with the rest of those guys. It's going to be a beautiful thing, a beautiful thing, baby. So hell yeah, shout out to Michael Dufresne for the awesome Purple Rotting Dynamo Jester, another weird variant to add to my collection that I definitely think is going to stand out. And only a few more self-titled and Iowa masks to go. I've got a big old package coming from a really good friend of the channel. And once I get those gems in the collection, whew, it's going to be unreal. Absolutely unreal. They were sculpted and painted by this person, but they're being sent to Dufresne to finish up with the strapping and the zippers and stuff. And honestly, it just sounds like a match made in heaven. So it's going to be awesome. Any guesses? So hell yeah, stoked to get this on the shelf. I think that's going to just about do it for this video. I will do the comparisons and stuff in tomorrow's video when we unbox the next mask. And I think that is going to be it for today's video. So a huge thank you to Michael Dufresne. I am going to be dropping his information down below. Make sure to go check him out if you haven't already. Clearly, always killing it. And of course, I'm going to leave you guys with some nice up close shots of this mask and let you see all of that detail. And that will be that. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. We are less than 2,000 subscribers away from 100k holy shit unreal i can't wait it's amazing thank you guys so much so yeah until next time this has been aj good at the house of masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to subscribing to my channel and we'll see you guys later